Meat endotherm, a warm-blooded animal. Meat ectotherm, a cold-blooded animal. Let's get ready for a warm versus cold-blooded showdown. Our endotherm, which with a few exceptions includes all mammals and birds, keeps its body temperature at a constant rate. It does this by generating its own body heat in colder environments and cooling itself down in hotter environments. To generate heat, it converts food into energy, can migrate to places that are warmer, shiver and grow hair, fur, blubber or feathers. To cool down, it can either sweat, pant, move to a shaded area or get wet. However, our ectotherm, which includes all reptiles, arachnids, insects and fish, takes on the temperature of its surrounding environment. To survive, it must bask in the sun, shiver, hibernate, or migrate. When it is cold, to increase its metabolism and stay warm. Our ectotherm is much more active in warm environments and very sluggish in the cold because its muscles actively depend on chemical reactions that speed up when it is hot. Unlike ectotherms, endotherms remain active in cold environments and can live on almost any surface environment on Earth. It can also seek food and defends itself in a wide range of outdoor temperatures. Our ectotherm, however, requires much less energy to survive. And where there is an environment where food is scarce, it has the advantage. Endotherms provide a nice warm environment for viruses, bacteria and parasites to inhabit, while our ectotherm constantly changing temperature makes it difficult for these invaders to survive. Being either an endotherm or ectotherm has its advantages and disadvantages, but both are responsible for making up this wonderful animal kingdom found on Earth.